I cordially invite Dr. Mukhtar Ali, is a physiotherapist at OPD IPRS, to please come and present his research paper. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. I would like to appreciate organizers and Dr. Asif Gulzar Sheikh Saab for such a wonderful event. Today I am going to uh, present my study that is comparative effects of position release therapy versus myofascial release technique in reducing pain and disability in patient with frozen shoulder. As we all know, frozen shoulder is a most common condition observed in clinics. Let's know what is frozen shoulder. According to American shoulder and elbow surgeon, frozen shoulder is a condition of uncertain etiology characterized by significant restriction of both active and passive shoulder motion that occurs in the absence of a non-intrinsic shoulder disorder. Pain and restrictive range of motion is the most common symptom seen in frozen shoulder patient. Incident of frozen shoulder in general population is 2 to 5 percent and pathoanatomy of frozen shoulder is synovial inflammation, joint capsule hypertrophy and develop of fibrous structure. Let's see what is myofascial release technique. It is a hands-on method of soft tissue mobilization that involves applying gentle sustained pressure to the subcutaneous and myofascial connective tissue as developed by John Burns. Myofascial release technique is a soft tissue massage technique that helps to improve the mobility of fascia and reduce pain with musculoskeletal system. By applying sustained pressure and relieve the muscle shortness and tightness. Mechanism of action of myofascial release technique. Sustained mechanical pressure on myofascia transform into chemical response causing flow of polyglycoid layer of collagen by piezoelectric effect result in release of tissue under the therapist hand. When therapist place the hand on the patient and apply the sustained pressure, so mechanoreceptor is activated and send the reflex and send a message of, to brain and brain release the fascia. What is position release therapy? Position release therapy developed by Lawrence Jones, 1955, osteopathic physician. Position release technique utilizes passive body positioning of muscle spasm and dysfunction joint towards position of comfort that compress or shorten the offending structure. The movement towards shortening is proposed to relax apparent reflexes that produce the muscle spasm. In position release therapy, first locate the tender point and then position of comfort and apply the pressure for 90 seconds. For example, tender point present in pectoris major muscle, first you locate the tender point of pectoris major muscle and then position of comfort, position of comfort. Position release therapy is the opposite of stretching. In stretching, you lengthen the muscle, but in position release therapy, you shorten the muscle. First, you shorten the muscle and locate, uh, first locate the tender point and then shorten the muscle, position of comfort and pressure apply for 90 seconds. What is mechanism of position release therapy in this method? When you apply the pressure for 90 seconds, gamma and alpha motor neuron is activated. What is gamma and alpha motor neuron? Alpha motor neuron maintain and monitor the length of the muscle and gamma motor neuron monitor the change in the uh, contraction of the muscle. Hypothesis of my study, null hypothesis. There will be no effects of position release therapy and myofascial release technique in reducing pain and disability in patient with frozen shoulder. Al alternate hypothesis. Position release therapy is more effective than myofascial release technique in reducing pain and disability in patient with frozen shoulder. 
Second alternate hypothesis is myofascial release is more effective than position release therapy in reducing pain and disability in patient with frozen shoulder. Material and method. It was an experimental study conducted in tertiary care hospital. Duration of the study is six months. Participant of the study individual with frozen shoulder. Sample size was 30 and sampling technique used simple random technique. Sample selection, inclusion criteria, both male and female subject with age group of 40 to 65 years. Suffering from adhesive capsulitis based on a referral from orthopedic surgeon. Exclusion criteria, patient with rotator cuff tear, fracture in and around shoulder, peripheral neurological involvement in the upper extremity. Assessment tool used in my study, shoulder pain and disability index, visual analog scale, and goniometer. Disability assessed by shoulder pain and disability index, pain severity assessed by visual analog scale, and goniometer used for range of motion. This is an assessment procedure. How to conduct my study? Flow chart of the study. In this chart, Number of population, firstly you conduct the, yeah. you concern form, fill the participants and number of population is 30 and uh, after number of population conduct, the test measurement weighs scale spady and goniometer. This is a PD treatment assessment before treatment assessment and then randomized allocation with the help of concealed envelope method by divided into two group, experimental group A and experimental group B. Group A, number of participants is 15, and group B, number of participants is 15. Group A receive intervention, position, release therapy, plus exercises like pendulum exercises, shoulder pulley exercises, shoulder wheel exercises, and wind exercises. Group B receive myofascial release technique plus exercises and after intervention, post-treatment assessment perform. Post-treatment assessment, VAS, scale, SPADI and goniometer. Pain assessed by VAS, disability assessed by SPADI and range of motion assessed by goniometer. After post-treatment assessment, statical analysis perform with the help of SPSS version 23. This picture shows position release therapy application method. Any idea which muscle release in this picture? Anyone? Yes. Lattice mass dorsi muscle. And then how to apply myofascial release therapy for pectoral major muscle? How to apply myofascial release for subscapular muscle? Myofascial release for serratus anterior muscle. Results. Table 1 shows peer T test of VAS and SPD scale for position release therapy. This is easy. Okay, understand. Uh, PRT test determined to uh, significant improvement within a group, okay? First pair is shows VAS and second pair shows SPD. In, in this table, P value of VAS is 0 0.000 and SPD value is, P value is 0 0.000. If P value is less than 0 0.05, so null hypothesis is rejected and alternative hypothesis is accepted. It means this table shows position release therapy is effective in reducing pain and disability in patient of frozen shoulder. Table 2 for pair T test of passive range of motion position release therapy. In this table, range of motion, flexion, extension, abduction, medial rotation, and lateral rotation, all are 
p value is 0 0.000 it means this is a significant results position release therapy is effective for improving passive range of motion table 3 shows pair t test of active range of motion for position release therapy in this table flexion and lateral rotation p value is 0 0.001 and extension abduction and medial rotation p value is 0 0.000 less than 0 0.05 this is a significant result result in it means position release therapy is more effective to improve active range of motion table 4 shows pair t test of wes and spady scale for myofascial release therapy in in this table pair 1 is wes and pair 2 is spady and p value of both wes and spady is 0 0.000 it means significant results Null hypothesis is rejected and alternative hypothesis is accepted. Table 5 shows pair T test of passive range of motion for myofascial release therapy. In this table, all ranges including flexion, extension, abduction, medial rotation and lateral rotation, p-value is 0 0.000. It means this is a significant result. It means myofascial release is effective to improve the passive range of motion. Table 6 shows pair T test of active range of motion for myofascial release therapy. Ranges flexion, extension, abduction, medial rotation, and lateral rotation. Flexion, extension, abduction, and lateral rotation p value is 0 0.00, but medial rotation p value is 0 0.088. This is not significant. It means myofascial release therapy is more effective in active flexion, extension, abduction, and lateral rotation, and little effective in medial rotation improvement. Table 7 shows independent t-test of VAS and SPD scale. What is independent t-test? Independent t-test uh, determined the Significant significant of between two groups. Whereas in SPADI, P value is 0 0.000 and P value of SPADI is 0 0.01. This is a significant null hypothesis is rejected and alternative hypothesis is accepted. Table 8 means uh, shows mean and standard deviation of passive range of motion of both group. Here you observe all range of motion in B group is uh, increases as compared to group A. Table 9, independent t-test or passive range of motion. Conclusion. Present study accepted the hypothesis that myofascial release therapy is more effective than position release therapy in reducing pain and disability in patient with frozen shoulder. Furthermore, there was also statically significant rational was found in visual analog scale, shoulder pain and disability index, and improvement was observed in all parameters of active and passive range of motion. Recommendation. A study recommended conducted further researches to study intermediate and long-term outcome of myofascial release therapy and position release therapy on a special population that is like diabetes mellitus. These are references. Thank you.